I did hear George won a basketball game yesterday, so obviously he has no problem. Let's hear a little applause for George. Ah. But since the rest of us aren't quite so fortunate, will our hero please give us his attention anyway? This morning, under senior problems, we're scheduled to examine the subject of college entrance. What you hope to become. The people who planned this course think these are the things that most concern you. I'm taking up a collection. Well, I've been wondering. Arms, what about now? Practically everything on the list is about the future. What about your day-to-day -day concerns and feelings? Or, let me put it this way, how can you decide for yourselves what you want to become until you know who and what you are? Well, I've been wondering about a new list. Stephen. What worries you the most right now? Me? Yes. Well, I got this theme I got to hand in to my English teacher. And, and you haven't done it? No. Well, I imagine you and your English teacher will talk about that later, won't we, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> uh, in the meantime, study habits. Mark, what about you? Well, I've got this car. Yes, I've seen it. <laughs> the transmission fell out, and it'll take $40 to fix it. Money. A uh, day-to-day problem, if I ever heard one. What are you going to do about it? Well, I wanted to get a part-time job, but my dad said no. Did he say why? Yeah, he thinks I spend too much time in the car as it is. Authority of parents. Now, what about you, Dan? Hmm? Oh, the first list is okay with me. The only thing I'm worried about is getting in the college I choose. With your grades and activities, I think the chances are very good you will. But is that all that concerns you? Well, even if it wasn't, I don't see the sense in a bull session like this. What's it going to prove? That's up to you. It could be just a bull session, or you could turn it into an important exchange of ideas. And it might force some of you to begin thinking for yourselves. Some of us already do. That's fine, and you ought to have more to contribute. Okay, we'll register one vote for the original list. Janet, do you agree with Dan? No. I mean, well, the new list is more important if you're really honest about what goes on it. Well, you're making the list. What do you want on it? All right. Then I say the thing all of us are most concerned with is sex. Way to go, Jim. Hey, way to go, Jim. Way to go. Yeah. All right. We've already discussed sex in health and hygiene. I'm not talking about venereal disease or how babies are born. What you mean of personal relations, Janet? I mean the day-to-day -day problems you're talking about. Like how far a girl has to go with a boy just to be popular. What I started to say was that the things you mention are probably much better discussed with your own parents. Ha! Huh. Have you ever tried to talk about sex with my mother? <laughs> <laughs> well, he knows what I mean. The parents aren't the only ones to blame. What about the boys who think they have to prove what big men they are? Well, since when is it just the boys? It still takes two, you know. Well, at least we're the ones who try to keep things in line. Oh, yeah? How about the time when we were out on a date, you know, you start this hand-grabbing yeah, yeah, yeah. video? Hold it, this isn't getting us any place. Well, why not? You said you wanted us to be honest. I do. Well, then let's get it out in the open, with boys and girls talking about it together just once. Yeah, what about it, Mr. Gifford? If it's really up to us, put it on the list. On the top of the list. Right on the top. Right. 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 Things you're asking for are very difficult to talk about, even for adults. But if it's that important... It sure is. How about it? All right. And now, 
Here's the way we're going to do it. Those of you who want to, or no one has to if you'd rather not, take some paper and write out your questions or opinions. And this is most important, no one signs his name. Fine, we'll spend the rest of the hour for it. On Monday, during homeroom period, we'll select some of the papers and try and begin the discussion intelligently. Over the school, the Gifford Report, subtitled, A Survey of the Barely Human High School Male and Female. What are you talking about? Well, the survey is yours, but the title is my own creation. What the wee beasties are calling it is something that could only be printed in limited editions. You're all crazy. You're crazy? Well, what, what does that make you? I don't stand there and tell me you didn't expect it. My friends, you not only have committed the original sin of discussing sex with the little ones, you departed from ordained curriculum to do it. Of course, South Line is a joke. That's what you say. That's what the kids say. And since when do what the kids say or do matter? Open your eyes, Pete. Mm, close them, don't you? I mean you're being paid to lead these kiddies down the garden path of reading, writing, and retirement these days. Nothing more. Look, Harry, you're always talking about quitting teaching, so quit. You want to spend the rest of your life stamping out identical parts? Get a job in an automobile factory. We can make more money. Sure, but think of the status we math teachers have now that we've got to beat the Russians. They're not your kids, Pete. While they're in this room, they are. But you're not their father. Look, if just a little fraction of what they say is true, you better drop these papers in the parents' laps prado. Oh. A word of the wise, Pete. I'm not kidding. You might know they'd wind up discussing sex. What else is on their mind? Oh, and it was the right thing for them to talk about. Most important, they chose the subject. Students are not necessarily the wisest choosers of what's best for them. We adults haven't always done so well ourselves. They'll be here any minute. Where do you stand on this, Mr. Morton? It isn't that simple. The principal today has to be a public relations expert, a politician, a mediator, and only incidentally an educator. I'm telling you this so you'll understand my answer. For the moment, I stand with you. But at the same time, I strongly recommend you tell the parents you made a mistake. Assure them there'll be no such discussion in your class and apologize. Apologize? If the idea is offensive to you, I'll apologize for you. That's part of my job, too. And if I refuse, then where do you stand? I'll ask you this. Do you want to continue teaching here? Well, come in, please. Come in. This is Mr. Gifford, whom some of you already know. How do you Why, should we all sit down? I believe Ms. Riker was to be here, too. Uh, no, she will not be here. Marge has been so upset by this entire thing that she's had to be put to bed. Oh, I'm sorry. Now, well, first I'd of like all, we want to know... Mr. Morton, that... Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Oh, you go ahead, Mr. Herman. Thank you. Well, uh, first of all, we want to know whether or not the school's job is teaching instead of uh, trying to act like some uh, psychiatrist. I mean, filling the kids' heads with all kinds of... Furthermore, I, I don't even know if I like their being here now. My daughter's waiting outside and she's going to stay there. Well, I asked your children to be brought here because it seems we've missed one very important fact. I'd like you to tell us, did Mr. Gifford initiate the discussion or was it the students? What difference does it make? When I went to school, the teacher decided what went. Not a bunch of kids still wet behind the ears. And everybody knows schools were a lot better off then. Yes, Mr. Summers. Well, the point is, Mr. Morton, that the PTA has covered this entire subject. And that the school board decided that sex education was the responsibility of each parent, as the case may be. Now, why Mr. Gifford chooses to ignore this and start a sex survey. Who told you it was a sex survey, Mr. Summers? Well, by now, I should think everybody in town knows it. How could that be when the only ones who know the contents of those papers are the students who wrote them and myself? Did Janet tell you about her paper? No. Marge Riker told her mother. But Marge was one who didn't choose to write a paper. I am not on trial here, Mr. Gifford. No one is on trial here, Mr. Summers. Please, 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 let's please, getting let's us try to remain calm. I agree with you, Mr. Carlyle. This is not getting us any place. Now, if we're through with the children, can they be dismissed? Of course. 
All right, now then, let's get down to brass tacks. Well, how about that? Sick, man. Sick. I was wrong. Gifford didn't tell. It was Marge. Hey, you ought to see your old man. He's really something else. He's coming on like some kind of madman in there. Where are you going? Without indulging further in personalities, I think we all agree that, that what happened was ill-advised. Mr. Gifford is as sorry as I am. I haven't heard him say so. You're entitled to exactly the kind of schools you want. As Mr. Herman points out, you're the taxpayers. I'm only the hired help. Well, that's good enough for me. Well, I'd like to say that the people. Well, it's would not never good enough for me. Oh, Mr. Summers, if uh, what we're interested in is avoiding trouble. We've already got trouble. And it's his fault. Oh, I've heard all about this guy from my wife. I don't want him teaching my daughter. I don't know what you're suggesting, Mr. Summers. It's simple. In my business, a man has a job, he does it. Or you get rid of him. If anyone's been hurt as a result of what's happened in my class, I apologize. Sure you do now, but what about next time? There won't be any next time. Well, what more do we want? All right, tell them to hand over the papers. No, I'm sorry. I couldn't let anyone see those papers. I promised the students when they wrote them. What do you mean you promised the students? If I may make a suggestion, are the papers in the building? They're at home. Well, in that case, Mr. Gifford can bring them to me first thing Monday morning, at which time I will see to it personally that they are destroyed. Well, that suits me. <laughs> you see how easily these things are settled? Anytime you have any problems to discuss about...